His supporters, what does it say about you? Oh shit, he's bleeding. Yo, yo, yo. God, he's bleeding. The left and the opposition party in the media. What they want to do is shut up the deplorables. You continue to make excuses for this man, for his vile behavior. Doesn't that make you just as bad, if not worse, than him? 2018 is another election about Donald Trump. Because you know what? They're scared of him. They are scared of what he's done. They're scared of the economy that he's created. Historic tax cut, African-American unemployment, Hispanic unemployment, record lows because of what the president's policies are. He's delivering jobs, he's securing the border. Probably the greatest foreign policy we've seen in decades. And for all of you who over the last few years have uttered that tired, lazy, uninformed, uneducated, ignorant response, you know what you can go do? Fuck Trump. They know that Trump is on the rise out there in the polls. If the Democrats win the midterms, they are going to go after Donald Trump for impeachment. Impeach 45! This election cycle is about the highest stakes possible for our nation. This is Armageddon. Tell me what the Democrats are running on. Are they going to vote on, let's bring ISIS back? Uh, they have no answers, so they resorted to racist and xenophobe. What we've got to do is fight in Congress, fight in the courts, fight in the streets. We will punch some people in the face. A homeless woman confronted as she showed her support for Donald Trump. This is a cultural war. And that's why we must do everything in our power to block this appointment. The left wants to undo our country. They want to take away the freedoms we have. We have created 2.4 million new jobs. 2018 is a referendum as to whether or not a duly elected president is allowed to do his job. The president is unstoppable, but he's only one man. You know, this is tough stuff. We're fighting a war. No war, no U.S.